In this video, we are going to rock translating real world situations into inequality expressions, and then we're gonna graph them. I've given you a plethora of examples, five of them, plethora meaning a bunch of different examples, to cover you. So let's dive into it. We've got that the speed limit is 60 miles per hour. So what does that mean? Well, that means that our speed could be 60 or less. So that sounds like less than or equal to, but before we get to that, we need to define a variable here for the thing we're measuring, the speed. So I'm gonna let S equal the speed that we're going. So that's speed. Now from here, we've got an inequality. Our speed can be 60 or less. So the speed is less than or equal to 60. So S is less than or equal to 60. And I just want to point out that there are multiple solutions to this. Your speed could therefore be zero miles per hour. It could be four miles per hour or 52 miles an hour, and it would all fall within that inequality. It could even be a decimal. It could be 52.7 miles per hour. So how do we graph this out? Well, we're going to go back, and I'm actually going to translate two at a time, and then go back and graph each one. That way you get a nice drill of first how to translate into an inequality, and then you can drill graphing. It's a good way to practice things, one major idea at a time. Okay, here we have you must be at least 17 to see this movie. So at least means 17 or more. Sounds like greater than or equal to. Let's get to first defining this. So it's our age that we're defining. So I'm gonna let A equal your age. And our age must be 17 or more. So age is greater than or equal to 17. So your age could be 17 and a half. It could be 17. It could be 18. It could be 35. It could be 100. And that would all be solutions to that inequality. All right, so now how do we graph these kinds of situations? Well, less than or equal to. It's an interesting way that we show that, but I think it makes a lot of sense. So we put out a number line like this. And let's say we put the number 60 up here. You don't have to list all the numbers. A lot of teachers like to just put zero. So I'll put a zero there. And if you're just strictly graphing this inequality, the speed is less than or equal to 60, or equal to means we put a closed circle at 60 to show we're including the value of 60, but we want all the numbers less than it. So I shade in the number line part. That would be all the numbers that make this true, all the numbers that are less than or equal to 60. That would be all these numbers here. Now I'm actually gonna stop the problem at zero because you can't have negative speeds. But any speeds in this interval, zero to 60, work for us, as we talked about earlier in the video. Some teachers teach it this way. They say if the variable's on the left, the direction to in which the inequality sign is pointing is the way that you shade. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm a, better, a bigger fan of understanding that you're taking all numbers less than or equal to 60. Here, less than or equal to it. Okay, let's do the age is greater than or equal to 17. So in this case, we've got a number line again, and we're going to graph that out. And we'll start at zero. And because age can't be negative, again, I am not going to continue the number line past zero. And then we have the age 17. That's what you could call your boundary. It's or equal to 17. So we say you could be 17 and watch it or greater, so that would be all numbers greater than 17, so you shade everything to the right. All right, beautiful. Now, let's take a look at these other examples. I think it's good that you keep watching this video so you see all the different ways we could do this. But this, and that last little bit, gave you a real in-depth understanding of what to do. So we'll keep rolling. You play guitar for more than four years. So let's say that Y is the number of years. So Y equals the number of years you play guitar. Well, you play for more than four years, which means y is more than, greater than four. So y is greater than four. And that's it as far as the inequality goes. Again, I'm gonna do two, maybe three at a time, and then go back and graph them all. A school has less than 450 students. So s would be the number of students that we have, so it'd be number of students. And then you have that the number of students is less than 450. So number of students is less than 450. It's a beautiful thing. Let's keep drilling these translations. Number five, the temperature is negative seven degrees Fahrenheit or less. So we're doing temperature, so I'll do T equals temperature. I'll just write down temp. Then we're saying that that temperature is negative seven or less. Hmm, that would be like saying the temperature is 
less than or equal to negative 7. So t is less than or equal to negative 7. All right, so we're going to go back and graph each one of these, and then we'll be done. So y is more than 4. So I write out my number line like so. You've got 0 right here, and I'll darken that a little bit. And then you've got 4 as your boundary or your border. Now, we've been playing guitar, or you've been playing guitar, for more than four years, which means we do not include the four. To represent that, we use an open circle. That means, whoa, bro, hands off four. We don't include that. Then from there, you want all the years more than four. So you've got a bunch of different solutions that could work there. That means you could have been playing for five years, 4.27 years, 33 years, any number strictly more than four. This says the number of students is less than 450. So again, I'm going to start our number line at zero because you can't have negative students. And then our boundary or our border, we'll, well, I'll put it arbitrarily here at 450. If we have less than 450 students, that means we don't include the 450. So again, an open circle. And then we have less than 450. That'd be all students before 450 in the number line. So we shade all these values. Beautiful. And finally, the temperature is less than or equal to negative 7. So, now that number line can go on forever in both directions, temperature-wise. So I'll put 0 and then your border at negative 7. Now that is less than or equal to negative 7, so we would include the negative 7 with a closed circle. That symbolizes we include the negative 7 or all the numbers less than it, which would be all the numbers less than negative 7 on the number line. There you have it, folks, how to translate inequalities in real-world situations and how to graph them. Awesome stuff.